Hello and welcome to the UMATSAT user portal. Today I'm going to guide you through how to register in our user portal and what you can do as a registered user. This is the landing page of our user portal. To create an account, click on Login and register Create New Account. You just need to fill in the mandatory fields that are marked with an asterisk. Then click Accept Terms and Conditions button and click on Create Account. You will then receive an email to confirm your registration. Once this is done, you can log into your newly created account. So now you are in your account and you have different tabs that you can use. Account details, my data licenses, my service subscriptions, and my notification subscriptions. I'm going to go through each of these tabs to show you what they are for. So on the account details tab, you can view your user profile and modify any details as needed. Under My Service Subscriptions tab, you can request one of the three UMEDCAS services that we offer, UMEDCAS Europe, UMEDCAS Africa, or UMEDCAS Terrestrial. This is assuming that you already have a UMEDCAS reception station or that you are setting one up. So let's request UMEDCAS Europe. You have to put in the required number of UMEDCAS key unit, EKU. So you can select one. Select your delivery address. So if you haven't entered an address under your user profile, this is the time to do it by clicking on Add New Address. Once this is done, you go Submit Request. Once your request has been processed by UMEDSAT, you will be notified and you will then be able to manage your data subscriptions. Now that I have UMEDCAS Europe activated for me, I can go Manage Subscriptions to manage the data subscriptions that I want for UMEDCAS Europe. Click on Manage UMEDCAS Europe Subscriptions. So let's say, for instance, that I want to register for Zero Degree MTG Data, FCI Level 1C, 10 Minute Data. So you see here that the entry is grayed out because I don't have the uh, corresponding license. I have a message here telling me that in order to subscribe to this data, I need to have the license. So let's click on Request License. This takes me to the My Data Licenses tab. A subset of the data provided by UMEDSAT is subject to licensing terms and conditions in accordance with UMEDSAT data policy. We have the MeteoSat Level 1 data with a latency of more than one hour and some global METOP data. And we have the MeteoSat Level 1 data with a latency of less than one hour. So in this example, to be able to receive FCI Level 1C data 10 minutes, I have to click on MeteoSat less than one hour latency and select the data usage that I want. So let's say here that I select personal education research. You see here that uh, there's a brief explanation of what these data usages involve. Selecting the license type MeteoSat less than one hour latency automatically selects the license type MeteoSat more than one hour latency and METOP. Once you've read the terms and conditions, you can click on the Accept button and Submit. So now under My Data Licenses, you see an overview of the licenses that you have just requested. For the MeteoSat more than one hour latency and METOP, the license is illimited, so you have no end date. For the MeteoSat less than one hour latency, data usage personal, education and research, and also for some other data usages, the uh, license validity is three years. You have the possibility to renew this license close to its expiry date. An acceptance by default of terms and conditions related to the use of Copernicus data and third-party data provided by UMEDSAT allows you to also access this data. And you can view the different terms and conditions by clicking on the View button here. Now back to my service subscriptions. Because I now have the valid license, I'm able to subscribe for the 10 minute FCI data. So let's do that. And then at the bottom of the page, just click Submit. 
your requested subscriptions will be activated for you within the next two working days. Now let's go to the tab My Notification Subscriptions. Here you can subscribe to receive service alert notifications by email. This allows you to be informed when unforeseen events or outages occur that are related to your services of interest. Now that you know what you can do as a registered user of our user portal, check it out at user.umetsat.int. If you have any questions, contact our user help desk via email at ops at umetsat.int. If you want to know more about our user portal, check out this video below.